Hey gang, welcome to Outdoor Retailer 2013 Winter Market. We are uh, just outside of Salt Lake City here at Solitude Ski Area where the on snow demo takes place and that's where all these ski brands and manufacturers come out and uh, let people in the industry demo the gear. And so we got people who are buying the gear to sell in their stores. We got media out here checking out what's coming out for Fall 13. And uh, you bring your boots or you borrow some boots. You got some guys in the snow pit who are setting up all the bindings and getting you ready to go. And then uh, they just shove you down this little hill here and get you down to the lift. And then you're off on your, on your own and uh, skiing. What we did, what I did, was I just kind of hung out here where people were coming back after skiing and just asked them, hey, how'd you like those skis? How'd you like those boots? Here's their answers. Hi, my name is Pip Hunt, and I'm here at Outdoor Retailers with Marmot. I just skied on K2's um, Remedy 169 All-Terrain Rocker Ski, um, and it was really fun. It's a little bit shorter than I would normally ski, but it turns really nicely on the groomers and, and the moguls, and uh, it feels really solid, even though it's a little bit shorter than what I would normally choose, and I really like that. My name's Tim. Uh, I just tested out these G3 District 112s. Really fun, responsive ski combined with the Enzo binding. Really get that active, progressive feel with it. Super fun to test it out. My name is Craig Dosty. I used to publish Kuar, now I do EarnYourTurns.com. So you can get lots of more details there. But uh, just a quick, brief uh, synopsis of K2's Wayback. I don't think they've changed anything except the graphics. It's still a great ski, it's fairly damp. Holds an edge well, uh, rocks at speed, and there's no powder to test it in, but I'll bet it skis pretty well in powder. Even though it's only 8 millimeters at the waist, that means it's really good for going uphill too. So, it rocks. Hey, my name's Brandon, and I work for Backcountry.com and Dogfunk.com. Um, just took this bad boy out and was really impressed with it. Uh, it definitely charges real well, as a POW splitboard should. But it's a little softer too, and its profile allows it to be really playful. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the ability to butter and spin and whatnot on it. Hey, I'm Lisa. I'm with Big City Mountaineers, and I also teach at Vail Ski Resort. And wow, these things rock. Um, they were in crud, and they were great. And once I figured out that you really got to stay on top of them, they, um, the special thing that they do, they make you stay on top of them in a really good way. What are they? So, moment. Love them. Hi, I'm Rick Fuhlenbach. We we're testing these skis. They're Amps Richters by K2. An awful lot of fun, easy to ski, and I enjoyed them in the pumps a lot. Hey, this is Scott. I'm with Columbia Sportswear. I just got done testing these uh, Atomic, and <laughs> honestly, I don't remember the name of them, but uh, 177s, and I thought, I thought I had a blast. I'm a little shorter than I normally ski, but uh, felt really stable for the length, and uh, really easy to get from edge to edge. Fun for carving, and uh, couldn't tell today, but I can tell from the width that they probably float pretty well in powder, so I'm happy with them. Yeah, I'm Leslie Barkdale, and um, I'm from Northern California, and then representing PJ Livingston Company, and was able to test out the local Aurora skis today. I uh, was a little bit concerned because it wasn't a powder day, but they performed better than expected. Uh, they carved amazingly well and were very soft through the bumps. Um, I loved them. I would definitely purchase them. Hi, my name is John. I'm with Black Diamond Equipment here at the OR On Snow demo. Uh, obviously, being with Black Diamond Equipment, I'm skiing on some Black Diamond gear, both the new Amperage ski for F13 and, more importantly, the Factor MX-130 boot featuring our signature MX Direct technology. And that's all about the swappable sole blocks, both for AT mode as well as free ride downhill mode, uh, Alpine DIN certified. Hey, I'm Hillary. I just skied the Solomon Rocket. Had a super good time. Obviously, it's hard pack day out there. This is a powder ski, but I didn't have any trouble on it. Just had tons of fun. Kind of took it off in the, even the bumps a little bit. And able to slip along just fine and able to control it on edge too. Super lightweight, fun day. Woohoo! <laughs> How's it going? My name is David Sater. I'm the sales manager for True Gear. And I just had the opportunity to hop on a pair of Scott Rock Airs and 183. It's a nice forgiving ski, but still stiff with the carbon stringer in it. 
super reactive from edge to edge and holds a good long radius turn as well too up at speed. It's been a super fun ski. I'm Brian with ExploringElements.com. Uh, I just tried out the new Good Sorcerer Ski. Um, carbon ski, uh, really damp, takes up all the bumps, loves to be on edge and go fast. Um, ski is pretty long because it doesn't have a whole lot of rocker to it. But uh, overall, really fun ski, especially in uh, conditions like this and groomers and stuff. I can see these things are really being nice. All right, my name's Tess. I'm from Backcountry Essentials up in Bellingham, Washington. I uh, just tested out the DPS Whaler 99s. I ski the 112s on a regular basis and love them. I think the 99s would be uh, a good addition to the quiver. Hey everybody, Joel here with Solomon skiing today on the Rocker 2 122 at Solitude. A little hard out there today, but still finding the Rocker 2 122 to be a fantastic ski on the hard pack conditions. Fun, playful, lively, great ski for everybody to be out on. So I'm Aaron, I'm with Elevation Outdoors Magazine. Just finished shredding some mixed conditions on these Moment skis. Um, they've got the new 22D binding. This is replacing the hammerhead. Um, it's a inbounds binding. This is the ski is what I call a, the new normal. It's got rocker tip and tail and camber underfoot. It's extremely versatile, crud busting, carving, powder. It's a great ski.